this tutorial movie, uh, what we'll do is show how to convert a simple coil uh, drawn in AutoCAD or any other CAD program for that matter, and uh, we're going to convert this to Gerber. So the first thing just to take note is as I use AutoCAD here, is if you zoom in, you'll see that this is basically a boundary uh, constructed of lines and arcs. And so they, they look connected, but there are still individual segments. If you kind of see how I hover the mouse over here, especially here in the arcs, uh, you'll see that they're not joined now. Obviously, once this is in Gerber, you want to have everything, uh, because in order for Gerber to fill this particular area, the, the boundaries, the lines, uh, and the arcs have all got to be joined to form one continuous boundary. That's the only way that Gerber can fill something. So there's two things you can do. Number one is you can, in your AutoCAD uh, or other CAD tool, go ahead and use like a command like pedit, join and connect all the lines uh, and arcs together to form a closed boundary. Or you can use our product ACE3000, and what that will do is it will convert your DXF over to Gerber. It will also close and join uh, the boundaries and then allow you to have nice, filled Gerber files. So let me show you how this works. Is I'll go ahead and use ACE. And uh, actually, let me look back. The units appear to be, in this case, just millimeters, just because I'm familiar with uh, the different sizes here. So I've got that as millimeters uh, because DXF files are unitless, which means there's no specific unit to there. So when you're going to convert a DXF file, it's a good idea to know in advance what the units are, what the you know what it was drawn as. So we have DXF, and my resulting file I want is Gerber. And you see ACE has quite a different array of different other formats to convert to. Okay, so I'll click Next. From this point right here, I can choose uh, what particular Gerber file that I'd like to load in. So I'll go ahead and click this one. And uh, what we're going to do here is first I'm just going to do it wrong, just to kind of show what typically happens to most people who convert Gerber files, uh, especially for microwave and other things such as that. What they do is they just usually select, uh, you know, this particular format that wanted boundary filled. Uh, but the problem is that the lines and arcs, as you saw in the previous example, are not filled. They were, uh, again, separate lines and arcs when they should be joined. Uh, and again, preferably in AutoCAD, if it's like a closed zero with polyline, that's perfect. But So what we'll do here is we'll just look through the basic options here. There's nothing specific. For the default line width, I'm just going to choose one mil. And that's just for this example, so it kind of shows better. Uh, and these are the Gerber exporting units you can use. And so, great, it's already converted to Gerber. But now when I look at this, you'll see that this just basically looks just like the DXF. It's a bunch of lines and arcs, which is not what I want. I need to have this area filled. So I'll go ahead and restart. DXF to Gerber, same thing. Except here, I'll use the command join. And so just by doing this, ACE is going to go ahead and connect all those adjacent lines and arcs. And I can leave this the same. Again, if you want to change the format, you can do whatever you like here. If you prefer English units to metric, that's complete your choice. Now when I go to the viewer, you see there we go. Everything is filled in one continuous boundary. And this is what I want. So from here, I'm in great shape. With ACE, I go ahead and click that, select Next. And from here, I can just choose whatever folder I want. I'll just choose Gerber, Data, click Accept. And there you have it. I have a Gerber file now that has the, protect, the correct filling, and it's been written out to this area. Now, one other last quick test case we're going to do is a feature called de-embedding, where let's say, for instance, you want to have uh, the opposite of this, like a negative, or you want to have features in there that are the op like islands or holes. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go ahead and just using the line command in AutoCAD. Draw a line around here. And the whole goal is I want this outside to be uh, dark and then the inner circuit to be clear. So we'll do this really quick. Takes about, and I'll just say, save, okay? Now I'll restart ACE. And then we're really quick and go through here, select the one here, except I'll use join and I'll also use de-embed. And now what I do is I go there, voila, it's uh, the ACE has detected the differences here, so then you just continue as normal. Click next and you've got your Gerber files now with this negative islands and the, the polarities. Thank you very much.